You heard Dr. Osterholm at the top of this, Dr. Fauci has said this repeatedly, that because of where we're going, meaning cooler temperatures, more children in school, more kids back on campuses, more people going back to their offices, and more people going indoors and going back because to of the life. change of the seasons. Right. Uh, where no, does that baseline have to be, or is it inevitable now? If we are at 35,000 new infections today, middle of September, is it inevitable that in October By the way, isn't it interesting to say going into, oh, is this enough, going into flu yeah. season, I told you this, any media outlet that just keeps the ticker going through another season should be immediately discounted. That's never how we've <laughs> measured pandemic yeah. deaths, rates, or flu season, or any type of seasonal disease, sickness, virus, ever. There's a re yeah. When you say, well, what was the flu season of 1718, of 1617, there's a season, like a hockey season, always. You don't just keep it going on indefinitely, <laughs> and it should have ended long ago in the spring. We know that. We do that with the flu. Now they're going to fold COVID from year from la from this year and likely yeah. last year. By the way, there's a good chance that it was right. here before yeah. then, and we just didn't know about it. They're going to fold that into this flu season, which goes into 2021. And See, that makes too much sense, Stephen. Yeah. This is an election year. Well, so here's here's my problem with my this. Robe cut under my. This is How did Ebenezer Scrooge do it? He didn't. Uh, they they basically are just trying to lay this at the feet of Donald Trump. This is their biggest complaint against Donald Trump is that he is the reason we have hundreds of thousands of people that are going to die from this total. And I have yet to see a person come out and say, this is what he should have done at this time specifically. What I've heard them say is we needed more testing. We have more testing now. Is that should helping us now? Should some dumplings in Chinatown? What, we're say, what we hear him <laughs> saying is we need masking and social distancing. We have both of those right now. Is it helping us is right now with some of our cases? And then they would say well, we needed contact, uh, contact tracing and modeling. Well, we had modeling that said 2 million people were going to die. How's that working out for yeah. you? And contact tracing, we have this in universities right now. Is that helping us out? Preach! None of them are helping Preach, us you do beautiful anything. Bitch. <laughs> so I <laughs> I, I, I've yet to hear somebody pin them down on this. They give you vague answers on how they would have done better. And not even that alone. What about with the information you had at the time? Now we have more information, right? I don't know that I want to keep going. I don't what's know. Oh, this is oh. me go. COVID. Oh, that's COVID. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Not six, I've got it. Not six I've feet. got it. I've got it. Gerald Morgan. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Come I'm on, sorry. That well, yeah, that was on, that was on a roll. Nice. I just it, it, it irritates me. It he really does. They're blaming him for tens of thousands. You know, of I thought right your now. wife was with you just for the money, but now I get it. No, Whoa. no, Whoa. there's there's way more. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have that much money. No, you're absolutely <laughs> right. More. You're absolutely right. And it yeah. is it is we are at this point. I'll tell you exactly why so many people died. Four governors, and we'll get into that yep. more. Yep. Four governors yeah. and policies in diametric opposition to what Donald Trump did. Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10.15 Eastern.